Hey, Kat. Hello. <laughs> hey, Lice. What are we doing today? We're looking at cools and warms ah. with, with the Derivan um, students. The Derivan students. Students acrylics. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I reckon that's a very meaty topic because yes. it can get people get very confused. Very confusing. There's very actually, easily. It's quite simple. So now, now we could just focus on one. Um, being the blues. So, okay, so let's, like, 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 let's keep it simple. Mm -hmm. let's okay, keep so it simple we've, we've both got a blue here and yeah. they look very, they're both very blue. They're but very what's blue, the... but they're actually <laughs> one is warmer than the other one, one is kind of cool. And how you kind of tell is obviously it's in comparison to each other. So it's relative to what colour you're using. So if you're comparing the two, one is warm and one is cool. And the reason why is because in the ultra blue, there's actually more red. Reddish blue. And this one is kind of like a greenish blue. Ah, yellowy, very good. Or, ye or yellowy blue, you know, depending on the you know, Where? three. Yeah. So when you think of greeny blue and a reddy blue, obviously the more red hue in a blue means it's warm. It's a warm blue. And the more green in a blue is cooler. Okay. I really, really like that explanation. Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy. Okay, so, so we've done our blues, so yep. we'll put our blues to the side. Yep. So our lovely reds. So um, just for the audience at home, these look like they're different paint ranges. Yeah. <laughs> but that's actually a new package. That's our new packaging. New packaging. Very brand new packaging. Yeah. Just had to. So yeah. You know. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Back to it. Okay. So Liza, what do you think about these two colours? Which one is warm and which one is cool? Mm. And what do you think one has more in than other? So this one... I feel like this one has more yellow in it. Yep. And that one has more blue in it. Correct. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Finally. Because, I mean, it's, but it's only relative to when you put them together. Yeah. So you can see that this has got, it's a little bit more orangey red. And then this one is more violety. Red. red. It's not obviously violet, but it's leaning towards that. It's, it's moving. It's leaning towards that. Okay. So ultimately, that one's a little bit cooler, and this one's a little bit warmer. Ah, oh, this is really good. This is so good. Easy peasy. I know. Learning at work. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, here's some new packaging as well. Yeah. Okay. New, new packaging. New packaging. Don't get confused. Old Just packaging. look at the color. Just look at the color. Yep. The color. Um, okay, so a cool, warm, a cool yellow, a cool yellow, mm. and a warm yellow. And see, you might notice how this one, it's kind of almost verging on a bit of a lime. Yeah, you can so see it would turn green. into lime Yeah, so, more easily. So that one's got more green in it. Yep. You know, as per, and uh, so ultimately leaning towards the... The cooler side and this one has got more red in it so going towards the orangey yellow so okay warm cool it's kind of like that's so dis demystified like I've just had like a light bulb moment Is it? yeah so I mean ultimately you're in the shop you're looking at something you and you're thinking is this a cool color go compare it against another, another yellow yellow yes and then you'll kind of notice it light bulb moment <laughs> it'll just be a light bulb moment okay yeah. so we're gonna play with them so we've learned about how to tell cool and warm mm. and believe me people ask this a lot so now we're gonna move into color mixing because this is the reason why you need to understand cool and warm mm. is because when you mix these colors because yellow and red make a lovely orange orange but Yellow and red in the cools make a different kind of orange. orange. So, so let's, yeah, we'll yeah, get so to see. We'll get yeah, to yeah. see what kind of orange you get from a cool set as opposed to a warm set. Cool or warm, depending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, shall we? So these two are the cools. Those two are the warms. Just. Just don't bring, just bring like a little bit out to there. Cool. So bring that out to the front. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you notice also like um, some 
yellows are more opaque, for instance, the um, the warm yellow is a little bit more opaque and so it means you can use equal parts to get a nicer orange. So opaque and also if you notice that because the scarlet is already a warm uh, a, a warm color, it's got quite a bit of orange in it already, it makes this really nice juicy orange. This one, um, this one is this yellow, the lemon yellow is quite um, transparent. So you end up kind of needing to put quite a bit of yellow in there to get an orange. And also you notice it's kind of like um, not a muddy orange, but it's ultimately that blue in there. So if you think you've got, if you, if you rem remember, you, may, you put blue, yellow, yellow, and blue, yellow, and red together, mix it all together, what do you get? Brown. Yeah. So what's happening here is because there's a tiny little bit of blue in there, it's essentially making a kind of a brown, a brownie orange. A brownie orange. It's versus, not obviously, like you can, ah, versus a nice okay. bright one. So already, yeah. You're already there's a decision to be made. Like if you want a bright orange, you're not yep. going to get a bright orange if you use a cool red. You're going to get a bright orange if you use a warm. Yeah, if you're got if you're yes. 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 Uh, we can take, now we can So that's our oranges. That's our oranges. Now we can do our blue. So I will want to put some more um, yellow in there. We are now making a green. A green. We've got the cool blue, which is the phthalo blue, and the lemon yellow, which is the cool yellow. We do the same. Okay, yellow. so bring over, drag it over. So now I'm going to lift up a little blob. Ooh, this is going to be really interesting. Look at this. Oh, oh such a different. Oh, different yours is really of, bright. Mm -hmm. And mine's it's kind really of done the opposite of what just happened here mm, with the orange. Yeah, because the ultimately the the cool yellow, the lemon yellow, has got that already. Well, we already it, ascertained that it had a green. It's already got a, it's got a, green, a green hue to mm. it. So it's only going to exacerbate any more blue that you put in there. So it's going to. Yeah. So then, now what I'm doing, and this makes total sense now is I've got like a murky green, mm. which would be great for like foliage and mm. that kind of stuff. But the reason it is murky like that and not as bright is because it's got a slight amount of red in there. So again... Correct. So it's like getting the brown, but it's a brown... It's green with the tint of... <laughs> yeah. It'd be really interesting to add white to that. We we're going to get an opportunity we to... Do right could we put a little yeah. blob of white in the middle and yeah, then... And then... Ah, that would be good. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, okay. so next one. Right, so okay, what's happening so next? Okay, so then we're going to do Oh, the we're same. making we're purple. Pull, we're going to pull out a bit of that red. Pull it out. Push it over. Push I'm pushing it over. over. You can push it over, you can pull it over. <laughs> and then the same with the blue, just a little bit to begin with. Oh, I'm there. Little okay, less. a little bit, a little less. Even that you much. Only That's need. enough. Okay, yep. Yeah, and then just... Because it's a strong, oh, oh, oh. You can add a bit more if you want. A bit more. And so this should be purple. Well, yeah, so keep keep adding it. So this is where you're kind of like, this is where it makes it. Oh, I can it's see it's kind beginning. of a brownie purple. So your purple, you can actually really see so it's that quite good, vibrant. Yeah. So it's quite quite vibrant because um, that blue is already leaning towards a kind of a um, cool colour. And then this one um, is also of a cool kind of violety hue. And so therefore it's going to... It's going to give you that really punchy, punchy violet. We got to purple yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we made all our secondary colours mm -hmm. um, and then we added some white. Yeah, so we, cut it, um, so we added some white and um, you can see obviously the um, plethora of uh, colours that you can get from just three colours. So 
What, what have we learned? Okay, so it's good to have six colours, not three. So not your standard, just yellow, blue, red, but having a set of cool and a set of warm. So six all together, and then you can create all these colours. All of these colours. Yes. Well, yeah, I guess. So yeah, it is. It's, as well um, as a white. Also, mm. with those six tubes of colour, so what you've got is two of each primary, is a cool and a warm, mm -hmm. an understanding of what these primaries are, like know what your warms are yes. and know what your cools are yeah. because that means when you've got an idea of a colour mm -hmm. in your head, like this like green here, mm -hmm. you'll be able to mix it straight away. Yeah. Because if you didn't, it could be it could be this green or it could be this green. Yeah, and they're very different greens. They are as you very can see. different. Yeah, and we've explained why they're different. Mm. Um, and then the last thing is is the addition of, like, white is your friend yeah. because white just expands mm. your, your collection. Yeah. yeah, your color palette. Yeah, exactly. So just to reiterate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so we just wanted to do that as well. Yeah. yeah. So just to remind you, I was the warm one. Mm -hmm. I used the warm colors. The warm pack. <laughs> so in this, we've got a, this is the warm yellow and this is the warm red. And then the warm blue is the ultra blue. So that's those three. They're mm. the warms in the Derriman student range. Mm. And then what have you got? And then I have <laughs> got the cool range. So in my cool pack, I have a lemon yellow, which is cool yellow, a cool fallow blue, and a cool red. Wonderful. And then if we take these across, We'll just have one more look at all of those different colours that you can make. Yeah, beautiful. I know. So it makes you want to start painting straight away. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> so keep tuned for our, our next colour theory um, video. video. Yeah. So our next video is going to be we're going to mix it up a bit and we're going to put a cool with a warm. Mm. That's what we're going to do. Mm. We are going to put a, we're going to see what happens. Mm when you cross contaminate cross contaminate guys. cools we're going to see warm. what it happens when you cross contaminate, contaminate cools, cools and, and warms yeah make sure you watch our youtube channel and, and subscribe and subscribe yeah yes there so make make sure yeah, you subscribe okay and we'll okay. see you next time yeah bye, bye.